You okay? Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, it's fine. Um. <sighs> um. How can I help you? Oh, um, uh, I'm the new temp. Uh, I'm here for the week. No, I've cancelled that. Um. Definitely. So, if you could just take me back, I mean, how did you first get involved? Uh, I got a call from my agent and said, uh, I'm sending the book in the post. Uh, the, it's a, the series is a long way off, but um, they're meeting people before Christmas. This was, I don't know how many years ago this was now. Um, uh, and there's no script yet, really. There was a couple of scenes. Um, and so I raced through that. Um, went in then a, a, pretty much a whole year went by where I was um, sort of going in again every now and uh, I was going in again um, ever so often um, and I, I sort of was aware that there was a lot of a lot of people who had to uh, say yes um, other than the sort of immediate um, creative team and I, I did I did sort of in my head, I sort of kissed goodbye to it as much as I carried on putting um, all all the effort I could into auditioning for it. I I thought, well, this may or may not happen, um, and and then I suddenly had it was. It's quite a strange process because normally, from the stuff I understand about film and TV, yeah, when someone says, right, you got the partners, go go go. So a really long gestation like that must be really unusual. Yeah, um, I mean, I I think I was. I was in their heads from the beginning, and I, maybe they just knew it was going to take as long as it took to to make everybody um, at all the different levels of um, you know, creative control to approve it, and maybe they just were careful about having that time. So once you got the part, how did you kind of get ready? Um, just asked lots of questions um, from everybody that they was put in front of me and who I sought out um, about everything from disability to surveillance to combat to you know um, just everything I could think of to ask really. What about physically? Because obviously the, there's a lot of kind of emphasis on the book about the fact he's a big guy and yeah. You know, that, that must take something to do. Um, I mean, I had a, uh, I was in touch with the trainer already, and I and I called Matt Bamford, who's an amazing man, um, because he also he works with a lot of actors, and he's very good at, at catering the training to the character, and also making sure that um, you're thinking about all the other things, like you know, how does somebody carry their weight who's that much taller, and. Um, so little things like that, very creative, and um, um, you know, we just set about trying to get me as wide as possible with, you know, protein and heavy things. And so, when does kind of holiday come into the picture? I mean, was her process the same as yours, or was did it kind of start a lot shorter? It was a little later, um, and I think she was away, and um, I didn't meet her till a couple of weeks before we started shooting, where we just started reading through all the scenes with Michael, the director. Um, yeah. And how, how was that process? Because obviously the book is, it's a real double act. It's not just, even though it's strike, it's a real double act. It's certainly a double act and uh, I always felt that's what it should be and everyone was on the same page about that. And um, yeah, I, I, we, we very much tried to build each other's characters sort of in parallel together and, and um, making sure we, I don't know, we just, I, I don't think either of us was in any doubt that what's at the centre of it is the relationship between them rather than one of them or the other. And what what were they like to shoot? Because obviously it's, um, they get about as stories. I mean, the crew's calling is quite London centric, but yeah. one we always gets more about. And uh, it was a really nice crew and we all got along. And uh, you know, everybody kept it sweet, and just I don't know. It was very, it was a very pleasant, creative atmosphere to be in. Obviously, there's there's going to be more early next year. 
this must be a nice position to be in because you can kind of look back at what you've done and that there's more to come. So yep. is that all done or is it kind of, is there, have you got to go back and do other bits? Or? Uh, no, it's all done for, for, in terms of Cuckoo's Calling to Career of Evil. Um, and yeah, no, it's nice. Um, I don't feel in a, I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not sitting back on my laurels, but I'm, uh, I, I, I'm very proud of what we've done and uh, looking forward to doing more. And in the meantime, just anxious to do things that really um, I feel are important. So, I mean, obviously you'd like to do more, but I guess there aren't any more books for the time being. So is it just a case of waiting for J.K. Rowling to hurry up? I think there's one on the way, um, which will, I don't know when it will be out, but I don't think it'll be out after too long and um, I'm sure as soon as maybe even before that hits um, the uh, bookshops it'll be uh, we'll be thinking about how I mean I I think already they're thinking about whether it's a two part or a three part or even a four part so it's already in people's minds Do you think Lula Landry was murdered and we messed up the investigation? She was scared the chap they picked up on the CCTV, they never traced him. What on earth would I need an alibi for? She was frightened of him. Lula was in the wrong nest. Leave me alone! Little Rock knows more about me than you lot of Will. Where shall I say you are if anyone important calls? Down the